So as you see, Tiger is working new mixtape. You know, it's called Ross Nigga Alive. <coughs> Excuse me. Plays off his name, T-Raw. He got a uh, new single out called Doped Up. I do believe it's called Doped Up. It's not bad. I heard it on SoundCloud, and I was like, all right, I didn't know what to expect. You know, it's kind of different, you know. And I was like, all right, you know what I mean? It ain't no bullshit record. Of course, some people going to be like, it's garbage, it's whack, because y'all niggas still looking at his personal life instead of the music. Remembering that Tiger was once upon a time dope when it came to mixtapes. Now, from the sound of this mixtape, from what I see with the first single, this possibly could be better than um, Fuck What They Talking About. Because I just feel with that mixtape, he had a lot of shit to get off his chest. He was focused, but he was more angry and then pit his energy towards the music instead hash him back out at critics. Now, if he can get back to doing what he do with mixtapes, like his Black Thought Days, Well Done series, yeah, you know what I mean? He could build his buzz back up. Because he definitely, I feel he definitely got to build that buzz back up because, you know, he took a lot of L's, you know, this year. Um, not only in his personal shit, which I don't care about, but far as music as well. You know, I think that whole, the Gold album not really being released the way he wanted it to be really kind of threw him off because I do feel like that album, even though it was, you know, kind of pushed back and everything like that, it shouldn't have been just a um, a digital release. It should have been a physical release. You know, I think a lot of his fans was let down by that, you know, and um, I felt it was a cool album. It definitely wasn't what I thought it would be. I don't know what happened with the production, but still, you know, I'm enjoying Tiger's music. And then he went off to release... Um, like I said, the Go album, fuck what they talking about. Um, and that project wasn't as bad, you know what I mean? But I just said he, he wasn't as focused on, you know, delivering a solid body of work. But hopefully with this joint, he definitely give his fans <clears throat> that old Tiger, you know what I mean, that really catapult to him to, I guess you want to say, mainstream appeal. You know, he definitely got to start dropping some hits nowadays. But really he don't because at the same time, Music is different now. You just got to make music that's popular, you know, far as your opinion on how you feel about your career going. You dig? And I don't think Tiger's one of them rappers, personally, that w will be like, you know how a rapper come and then they forget about him and the rap game move on. I definitely feel he has a place in hip-hop somewhere, but he just got to get back to that zone where it's undeniable. You got to give him his fucking credit no matter what. And hopefully with this mixtape, he can do that because it's kind of a letdown where it's like, damn, nigga, you got people rooting for you and you just still, you know, not focusing on what you're focusing in on. You know what I mean? But hopefully this mixtape will show and prove some, you know, he have some different music on this shit. Like stop with the whole turn up slash DJ Mustardist type beats and songs and shit. That's predictable. And he's not that good when he do that anyway. Like you don't need to capitalize off what you used to do you know create something new to where you start your own trend you know what i mean i don't even like the whole sidebar real quick the way he took the whole death row you know emblem and used his last kings as i don't really like that the whole emblem like uh i mean that's come on bro like really like i don't really know too many hip-hop labels that actually didn't have their own you know icon you dig but at the end of the day, it is what it is. Ross nigga alive. Don't know when it's dropping. It's coming soon from what he says. And hopefully it's dope, man. I mean, the cover is basic as fuck. But it looked like on some, um, you ever watch Nightmare on Elm Street shit? It looked just like that. So what I'm thinking is he probably dropped it on Halloween because that's what it kind of looked like. But who knows, man. Tiger is Tiger at the end of the day. And he looked like, you know, his whole thriller type vibe on the cover. If you really look at it. You know what I mean? If you remember the MJ video thriller, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, that's that's like the, the kind of vibe I got from it. But it looked like it'll drop on Halloween. You know, it should because, you know, it, it has that eerie feeling about it. But other than that, man, his new single is out. Go check it out. Let me know what you think about it if you heard it. Other than that, I'm out of here. One.